I feel like I'm gonna sound like logic in this video going, who can relate? But I genuinely wanna know if I'm the only one that has this issue or if this is just the worst thing in Cold War. And it has to do with the matchmaking system. We all know how dumb SBMM is with how it ruins the matchmaking by putting you against similar skilled players the entire time. And we've talked about this in depth in previous videos once again, but there's something that I've been noticing more and more, and it's slowly degrading my quality of life with Cold War. I would say for the past month and a half, I've really been enjoying the game. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Even with SBMM at its core, I haven't had any issues. I've gotten used to the skill bracket I'm playing in. I'm able to consistently drop gunships, AC-130s, and chopper gunners. It's pretty easy in this game, honestly. And then I've noticed something within the past couple of days, and this is me only joining games in progression. And sometimes it's like in the first half of domination, but a lot of the times when I'm joining games in progression, I'm not even able to get like five kills before the game is over and it will happen over and over again. So I want to discuss that today. And as always, I encourage you guys to share your thoughts and opinions as well in the comment section down below. And I know I don't do this often on the channel and I don't like self promotion and stuff like that just because it takes away from the video. But very quickly, I'm going to be a lot more active on my other social medias, including Instagram and Twitter, as well as the discord server, which is linked down below. So if you guys want to go follow me on those platforms, I decided I wanted to be more active on those and I've actually followed and had a couple good conversations with some people on some other social media. So that'll be one of the only times you ever hear me bring this up. Anyway, let's get back to the main topic of this dumb SBMM issue. And I genuinely think this issue is a problem caused by skill based matchmaking because at the end of every single game, your lobby is disbanded. So when you are joining a game in Cold War, you are either going to join a brand new fresh lobby or a game in progress. Now, this seems like a pretty normal thing because if you look back at old Call of Duties, the same thing would happen. You could join games in progress or join a brand new lobby where you would just play the game from start to finish and then stay in the lobby or find a new one and continue to play games start to finish. But since SBMM disbands parties at the end of every game, there is now no chance for you to consistently play games start to finish, What sucks because sometimes you can load into a brand new game and then have a lot of fun and then for your next five or six matches you join they could be all in progress with the enemies already having full sets of score streaks up and your team could be losing pretty badly and that also makes sense because if you are joining a game in late odds are you're going to be joining the losing team every time very rarely will i be joining the winning team because think about it this way if you are on the winning team and you are consistently getting score streaks and lots of kills, why would you leave that game? Odds are the people leaving that game are the ones that are going to be getting killed over and over again, being stuck in spawn traps or just getting destroyed by score streaks. So they'll leave the game and then you join the game late and fill their spot. That's how Call of Duty has always worked. But the thing with Cold War and Modern Warfare 2019 is since the lobbies disband, there is now more players than ever searching for matches and there is now more players than ever leaving matches because of how strong SBMM is, forcing multiple players multiple times a day to join lobbies in session and the thing is even if you stay in the game you joined in late for the last minute 45 seconds however long you're in there for the second you finish that game you are disbanded from that lobby and are most likely going to be get put into once again another game in progress Usually in the old Call of Duties, if you joined in late, sure, your team could be getting absolutely slapped on when you join, but the second the game is over, everyone goes back to the lobby screen and all 12 of you are in there, and then you start up a brand new match and it's the same players that you just joined, but now everyone's starting from scratch and you now have a fair fighting shot, which took away the problem that we're having now. And I don't understand why they took away lobbies in call of duty the only time you'll ever be in a lobby is if you are on a brand new match and the lobby is filling with players that is the only time for the rest of it you are joining in late or joining in right after a game start and personally for me i have no issue whatsoever if i join in in the first 25 percent of the game time but it's when i join in just under half or just over half or late game that it bugs me because it's a waste of my time i'm not going to be able to get set up get streaks because the enemies already have theirs and the game has been going on for so long the game has a different pace and flow every single time sure maps tend to play the same but every lobby is slightly different play 
players will be in different locations. And sometimes in lobbies, you have to go to multiple locations over and over again and die consistently to know what the enemies are doing. But when you join in late, the enemies and your team are so established, it's hard to join the flow of the game. And that's one thing. The skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty kills the flow of how casual it used to be. Not even just with the skill in the like the skill and skill-based matchmaking, we're not talking that. We're just talking the strict flow of the game, whether you're playing competitive or casual, as long as you're in public lobbies, the flow of the game has completely come to a halt. Now, there are some very rare occasions where you'll consistently get into brand new games where it starts off regardless of what game mode 0, zero for both teams and you might just spawn into the game just as the intro cutscenes have finished playing which does happen time to time but still you have that main issue of the flow being cut and a lot of players that have played COD during the golden era or just any non-SBMM heavy Call of Duty game, you'll know regardless of how good that Call of Duty was, as long as the matchmaking did have lobbies and you could carry over from game to game, multiplayer was, it had a lot of flow to it, not just in the game itself and during the game mode or map you were playing on, but even going from game to game, there wasn't that much time in between. I don't remember what Black Ops it was, but the in-between match timer was so short. It might be Black Ops 4, but it was like 15 seconds between every single map where you had a, such a small amount of time to create classes. But the thing was, is if you had your classes established and you were just playing, you could play consistently back to back to back and get a lot of games in rather than what we get now. And there's sometimes where I'm going to be loading into a game or I connect to a lobby and it will give me an error code that the lobby is already full because multiple people are put into the queue to join those empty session slots. And sometimes I'll get an error code. If it's like 12v12, I'll get like an error code, something, 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 24, meaning that 24 people are already in the lobby. So my thought is what happens is because the matchmaking system is so weird, when there's an empty slot in a lobby, it tries to put as many people searching for the game into that slot as possible. And whoever connects to it first connects to it first. And whoever doesn't gets that error message and they just have to restart their search, which isn't a big problem, but I can definitely see how that's gonna frustrate players. And it also sucks if you have a party. I have noticed sometimes if you're with a party and you're trying to join into 6v6 games and it joins you into one in progress, it will connect you to the game, but not your friends and because you're all connected to a party you'll get that same error message and won't be able to even connect to the session because the matchmaking service what i think it's doing is it's saying oh you the party leader are trying to connect and then as it tries to connect you it brings your party with you and then all of a sudden the game realizes oh he has a party with him and he has two or three extra players even though there's only one open slot so i have had times in the past with a couple of my friends in discord where we've been trying to queue into a match and we've been sitting there for 15 minutes getting the same error message over and over again in every single game mode we all reset applications we all tried changing that types and all this different type of stuff and we changed game modes and the same thing kept happening over and over again regardless if it was domination combined arms whatever every game that the game tried to force us into didn't have enough spaces for the entire party to join so with your when you're with a party you can only join brand new games and brand new lobbies but the thing is is the game is still going to try and force you into those games in progression and say what you will about skill-based matchmaking and how it negatively affects the game i agree it negatively affects the game but i genuinely think if they kept lobby systems in the game where the lobbies didn't disband at the end of every match I don't think SBMM would be as bad as it is right now. Of course, you'll still have that huge skill influence to the games you play, but as, if you could stay in the same lobby, it would be so much fun. I miss the days of Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 of being in the same lobby of players for like two hours straight in like this little mini tournament because a lot of people start trash talking and want to win and you don't want to let the team that just beat you win again, so you try to go beat them and then you beat them so they feel bad and they don't want to end off on a loss so they you keep going back and forth of your team wins their team wins and this all happens within public matches so a lot of players that play call of duty now and their first call of duty has been cold war or modern warfare 2019 they're completely missing out on this competitive aspect of the game and yes you could say sbmm forces that competitive competitiveness into the game 
but it's not as consistent. You don't have that flow that the old games have. And a lot of the OG COD players are going to know what I'm talking about. And even some of the players who have been playing since like Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare, even then they are still going to know what I'm talking about. I think the last game ever to have the standard matchmaking format where the lobbies did not disband was the Call of Duty. What came out? Oh, Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was the last COD that had that. And then ever since then, we've had this really weird matchmaking system. Anyway, that's going to be the video for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Am I just some old COD veteran boomer who is missing the past? Or is there actually some validity to my thoughts and opinions on this argument? Anyway, leave a like if you guys did enjoy this. Like if you didn't, there's no hard feelings. Subscribe for more videos in the future. Social media links in the description below, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I promise I won't do that in future videos. Just wanted to let you guys know. And if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.